What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, I own a laser engraving and embroidering and printing company that I run out of my garage. And it's just me with the part-time help here and there. I got invited to go look at a sweet laser down in Chicago. So I'm going to take you down there and I'm going to tell you what I got to see. And boy, oh boy, has the laser industry changed. It is wild what this thing can do. I was shocked. I need a shop. That's what I need. <laughs> this machine is big. It's like my Thunder Laser, but a little bit bigger. And it can do six in one. Six in one things. That is just crazy and blows my mind. And you can see some of the stuff here, they all made with this laser. And then some of this really big stuff that I'm holding, <laughs> this is crazy. They have lasers that'll do this also. They sell a big variety of lasers from little to really big. <laughs> So on this laser, you have a CO2 tube and you have a fiber. I was watching it cut out this stainless steel and it was just flawless. It was awesome. Just a tiny, tiny little slag on the back, which is normal with all like fiber lasers cutting. This is what I used to do before I went on my own and I ran one of these. And this is really neat. It brought back so many memories and it was so cool to see it all. So they do a bunch of test cuttings to show us the different cuts and how well it can cut. So we did a ton of recording on everything and it was just a lot of fun talking to the different guys down there and the different things they can cut. Like he was cutting out brass. As you can see here, he's cutting brass and this was another test run. And to me, I was like, I was blown away. I never even thought about cutting out brass, let alone that thick, that was crazy. This is the piece of brass. Like I said, it's a clean cut. It really is. I was shocked on how well this thing cut. And this will fit in my garage. Like it could fit in my garage, but I have to get rid of my thunder. I don't want to do that. So here they're going to cut out stainless, or not stainless, mild steel. This is a quarter inch and they're cutting through this. This is another test piece. So you do have to run gas with these machines. And he switched from a gas for the stainless and then switch to air or sorry oxygen for the steel mild steel and you can see it's clean cut again it was shocked there was a couple of times he had to test or do a test run but and then the rotary tool this blew me away this is just wild a rotary tool with the fiber running this would open some doors How many places around you can do this? This is crazy. That is cool. This just blew my mind. And I need one. <laughs> and then you have the CO2. Once he started that up and turned on the exhaust system and stuff, it got really loud in there. But boy, with that thing cutting like butter. It cut very clean and I was shocked how clean it was and how easy of a switch it is. All he did is take a piece of tape, put it underneath the fiber lens and then switched over and started doing uh, CO2. He also was cutting half inch acrylic, half inch. And I hate the smell of acrylic, but this was so cool to see because you don't see too many machines cutting half inch acrylic. But he didn't change the nozzle from going from wood to acrylic. 
it cuts it all the same one, just use the CO2. So that was really cool in my eyes. It's just one less step to go from going back and forth. Look how smooth that is. That is just awesome. What a great cut that made. Perfect, just perfect. So now if you don't need to cut and you need to do something else, what we're gonna do is take this off and now you can do welding and cleaning. And we're gonna show you that over here. So here we took the head off and we're using it to weld. You got it, weld. I was blown away. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah, cool. Nice. That How are you there? Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, like this. Yeah. This is what I used to do for a living. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> then he showed me, he welded. It was, it was cool. Talk about a game changer for people that are starting out of the garage like I did. And then here's another piece of tool that you can use it. You can use it to clean out different rust. And this makes it nice and smooth by him just going back and forth. And it's just like the laser. You gotta get it to focus on where you want and then you go back and forth just running it using your hand and you clean the whole piece off. And then he's like, do you wanna try it? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, this thing was really sweet. I cannot wait for the day that this comes to my shop. I will probably have one of these as soon as I get a bigger shop. I'm not lying. The price point on this was spot on, 10K. How can you beat that? Or I think it's 11. It's probably after tax stuff to be a little more, but for that machine, are you kidding me? You can engrave, you can cut with steel. I mean, holy moly. You're talking a quite a bit of stuff and that tube. Imagine the artwork you can do with just that stuff alone or even getting into if you're manufacturing something. I mean, it really got me excited. I didn't know, I knew lasers were going leaps and bound, but I didn't know it was going that way where you can cut everything out of steel, take it, weld it all together. Like I'm probably not gonna do huge projects in there, probably only smaller projects, but still, how cool is that? You go to a local steel shop, ask for a four by eight sheet, cut it in half. Now you can just load it in the machine. You're good to go. That's, that's awesome. I talked to a guy when we were there that's from across the seas and he has one of these and he was using his. His was not the six in one. His was just only for metal. And he used it for a, something that he invented and he started making it and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and more popular and He's making tons of it now. And it's crazy to think that there's other people out there starting out of the shop just like I am. Because you don't hear the stories. And I thought it was really cool that he shared that with me and how he started and what he did. And it's just, it's really cool. It's It brings me back to when I started and it was hard. It was a fight. It was a brutal fight. And I look back and I look down that hill. It was worth it. Don't look back anymore and just keep going up. It's... It's a hell of a time, I'm telling you. It's worth it being up here. The air is cleaner. <laughs> like I said, you guys, it was a blast going down there. I had so much fun that they invited me. I appreciate them inviting me. And it was really cool to see everything. And they just got there, so they're setting up their whole floor room or showroom floor. And I cannot wait until they have that done because the machines I got to see there was pretty cool. And you can see it now. They're all wrapped up. But he explained what they all are, and I was in shock. They also have smaller lasers that compete against the X-Tool lasers. And I was shocked with that, with all the tech that they have from really small beginner ones to big industrial companies. So I'm shocked on all the stuff they do there, and it was really cool to see, and I appreciate it. I want to say thank you to them. If you guys want to check this laser out, I do have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. I get a tiny percentage, and I'm going to use that money to buy my own. And if I have to, I'll have to get rid of some shelves. And if I don't move, I'm moving. I ain't going to say that. I'm moving. But I'll put one over right over here in the corner. That thing was sweet. I'm going to load it right from the back. Open the garage door. Hey. <laughs> it was really neat to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye.